Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back. Um, today I was going to talk about relationships. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what I'm even talking about, but um, relationships are interesting, you know? I've had, like, there's romantic relationships, there's friendships, there's relationships with your family. There's a lot of different dynamics. I think I'm just going to just ramble about like I have some problems in my relationships and my communication skills um you know I don't know I'm just like not good I guess at like communicating or I think I'm good and I think I'm being understood but then when it comes down to it I guess I'm not you know um I don't know if people can hear me. I might just hold the mic. It's more fun. Um, but I don't know if people understand me, you know? Like, I'll say one thing, and um, I think people misinterpret what I'm saying, and that's my fault, you know? I have to get better at actually, like, making sure what I'm saying sounds clear. Like, for example, I just got blocked by this girl, um, and... Uh, it's like the second girl to block me in the last two weeks. Um, and the other one was for a completely different reason. Like, she actually kind of, like, screwed me over. But this one, you know, actually is, like, my fault, I think, because of my communication skills. And um, so, because, like, th th we are supposed to hang out, and I'm, like, you know, terrified of human beings. And I also work a lot, like I actually do. Like, I just got back from the studio. I'm working 12-hour days, pretty much. You know, like, very intense work schedule. And when I get back from the studio and expressing myself, I'm exhausted. I just want to lie down. I have a terrible headache right now. I just don't even really have time for, like, that type of uh, relationship. And I, I want it so much, but I just don't even have time for it, you know? Um, I already have time to, like, call my mom and... You know, I make sure I make time for that, but, like, you know, I think I just have to get better at saying, hey, like, I'm working, I'm not going to be able to hang out, you know, but I think I kind of, I want to not disappoint people, so I'm always like, oh, yeah, like, um, I'd love to hang out, you know, but, like, oh, yeah, we're definitely going to hang out, and then, I don't know, I'm just, like, exhausted, and then on top of that, I'm like an anxious person. And so like even if I had full energy and I wasn't doing anything, I'd be scared. So there's that too. But like since I'm out here, it's like a very focused work trip. And then I think I'm going to probably Nashville after this to just keep working on a project. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a lot of work. But like I'm sure I'll have time to focus more on that. You know, um, I think... Uh, my relationships with my family is really good, but they went through, a, like, a rocky phase. I'm not going to lie. When I was, like, 13, 14, I was, like, really, really not a happy guy, you know? And it's ironic because those were the years that I was, like, on musically and, like, touring the world and making music that was getting millions and millions of streams and, you know kind of funny because my relationships at home were so bad and mainly because of me but I was also like a teenager figuring out the world I'm and I was angry at the world I had received a lot of hate and I was trying to balance that and it's a complicated thing and you know I wanted to feel independent but I was still young and I, I was making money so it was this complicated thing you know, um, and I, I have a lot of guilt for the way that I treated some of the closest people around me um, back then. But I definitely learned a lot, and my relationships with my family are a lot better now. Um, <clears throat> and I'll bring them on this channel one day. Um, they watch these videos, so, you know, uh, I'll bring them on here eventually for sure. Um but I mean, romantic wise, I mean, I've I've been in uh, some relationships. I've had some talking phases. Um, 
and I mean, I don't know like where to even start, but it's just an interesting thing, you know. Like I've I've felt real love before. I felt what that's like. I felt that type of love that you think you're gonna be together forever. I felt what that feeling's like, you know. And um, it's a special thing, and I'm I'm grateful to have experienced that, and I'm grateful to hopefully experience that again in the future, you know. Um, a lot of my music's inspired by relationships. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate, and, like, I've been singing all day, and my voice is kind of, like, exhausted and in a lot of pain right now, so I apologize. Um, I'm just going to talk closer into the microphone. Um, but, yeah, relationships are an interesting thing. You have to keep balance in the relationships to keep them healthy. A lot of relationships can be toxic, you know, um, very easily just by there being, like, an imbalance, and I've experienced that. Um, and so I'm looking for healthy relationships, you know, I'm sober, I don't party, I'm looking for people that want to do wholesome activities, you know, um, and, yeah, I mean, I've had, uh, a lot of, like, I think people call them now, like, situationships or whatever, where, like, you're talking to somebody exclusively, but you're not, like, dating, you know, um, <clears throat> it's basically dating, but, you know, um, that's an interesting thing. Uh, and then I cut it off because I was scared that I wasn't ready. And actually, I wasn't sober at the time, so uh, I'm kind of glad I did because that's a big reason why I got sober. I remember telling her, I said, you know, I have a lot of things I need to work on with myself. And I don't want to get into a relationship and hurt you by me not being you know, a better version of myself, and I, I really, that was a real genuine conversation that happened, um, and I don't think she understood at that time what that meant, because I didn't really, you know, lay it all out there, like, this is what I have to do, but um, it was, uh, it was an important thing for me to do, and it was hard to do, I really liked this person, and um you know, it didn't end bad or anything, and they're in a happy relationship now, and that's amazing. I'm, I'm actually, like, really happy for her. Um, but, you know, I uh, it, was a, it was a complicated thing, and this was actually, like, over a year ago, so well over, almost two. And, uh, but I, you know, I got sober when that, uh, a little bit after that finished, um, and I'm grateful to have, you know, over a year of sobriety. We're like, I think we're like 14 days into the new year. So on top of 365, I'm not good with math, but that's quite a few days sober uh, over a year. Um, I mean, I'm grateful for that. And, um, you know, I actually saw that girl's sister out at a uh, at a music event. Um, and it was cool to just catch up and you know I had Sprite in um I had Sprite in like a, a red solo cup and they were like are you drinking and I was like no and they literally didn't believe me you know because of because of like maybe in the past right they literally all smelled my cup like and they were so proud of me and that that was like a really interesting moment where I was like wow they're, they're not mad at me you know for for maybe cutting it off you know, they're, they're actually proud of me. Like they almost didn't believe I was like actually sober. Shout out to Sprite, by the way. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. I think sobriety is like the biggest change in my life in the last like year. Um, but I also have to learn how to like have relationships sober and step outside of my sh shell sober. I mean, I'm not a turtle, but, you know, I do have to learn how to, you know, communicate with other people. Um, I, I've been to a lot of events and talked to a lot of people, and I'm actually just in the process of getting more comfortable with that. Um, but th that was a cool thing. Um, you know, I think um, there are some people that, like, it would be cool to reconnect with now that I am, you know, sober and clear-headed and I've spent a lot of time reflecting on the past and, you know, but I'm sure throughout life that'll happen. I think things happen at the right time and it's, 
I don't think it does anyone any good to stress yourself out over those things. Um, you know, I think good things will happen at the right time. And, you know, I do what I can and I try to pe pe treat people with respect. Um, and I have a good group of friends. Um, and uh, I'm very single, but I'm not mad about it. I'm very focused on work right now. And I couldn't imagine being in a relationship right now. Um, it would be complicated. It would be very exhausting. And I'd, next person I'm in a relationship with, I really want to give them more of my attention. I mean, they could come travel with me. You know, they could come to London and go to Nashville and come on tour when I go on tour or whatever. But, you know, I, I think it's important that I'm able to give them time and my energy. So relationships are interesting, you know. Um, there's so many different kinds. No. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but oh, it feels good to lie down. Oh, dude, I have such a bad headache. I don't think it's good that I'm drinking Sprite, but whatever. Um, I'm excited to just go to bed, and then I'm back in the studio tomorrow. And I'm exhausted, and my throat extremely hurts, but I love what I do. I love writing music. I'm excited to start performing again. Um, and yeah. I uh, I think relationships are an interesting thing. A great inspiration for music. A a source of a lot of people's happiness, including my own. Um, actually, a place for a lot of hurt too. You know, I've been in tons of relationships, whether it's a friendship or um, I don't know, just like different dynamics. It's not. I'm not talking about like dating someone. I'm just saying that I've been in, I've had a lot of toxic friendships and um, learning that a toxic relationship with someone can be disguised as something that's super healthy and you might not even notice it because I mean sometimes the 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 good points are really really good and then the bad times are super super bad um or maybe it's not that there's a problem with uh, you guys or you never have conflict, but the things you do when you're around each other are not good. I've had that um, where I've been around great people who are really nice. And the hardest thing was kind of taking a step back because uh, the lifestyle that I wanted to live didn't match the lifestyle that I was living when I was around that person. And I know people are going to be like, well, it's up to you to, like, you could still be around other people that do other things. Um, but but I, 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 I agree with that, and I also disagree in a certain way. Because if you really want to live your life a certain way, you have to remove people that don't align with that at least for a certain amount of time. And then you can re-enter when you have a lot of uh, security in the new lifestyle that you're trying to live, you know? And I hope this is resonating. I mean, I hope I'm not just rambling here, and I hope um, today's video, you know, is all right. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm just exhausted, so I'm just pulling out the camera and just kind of rambling away. Um, but these videos help me, man. Um, these videos help me learn more about myself. And I'm grateful for that. Um, and it's cool because hopefully one day my kids, I always say this, uh, hopefully my kids watch these videos one day. Um, and hopefully I'm able to watch them in the future. It's a video diary. So um, I'm excited to just keep keep posting. I'm excited to have some really cool people on this channel. Um and do some fun videos too. They don't have to all have to be serious, you know? I'm just oftentimes using this as a way to express how I'm feeling. And do you guys like the serious videos? Let me know, please. Speak up. You know, I, I don't want to be doing like challenges on here, you know? We could do a cool Q&A or things like that. But I like to use this channel to inspire, connect, and have a source for myself to just, you know kind of free-form thinking. Um, 
and I, I, I truly believe like, you know, that'll connect with a lot of people. It just takes time, you know, consistency. I'm posting every day. We're not even, I don't even know. Are we even, we're not even like, we're about halfway through the first month of the year. So, I mean, it's a big commitment to post every day on YouTube, but I'm happy doing it. I'm, um, I'm grateful for the people that view my videos, um, that stream my music, new song, January 19th, with Audrey Mika. Very excited for that. I think that's going to be a great one. Um, the music I'm making now sounds nothing like that, or the music that's been prior. But I think that's a good thing, so stay tuned. You know, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff <clears throat> on the way. And... Uh, Make sure you think about your relationships. Think about what you want in relationships. And make sure you're, you know, surrounding yourself with people that lift you up. Um, and for a while, if that's, you know, taking a step back from everyone until those right, the right people come into your life, I think that might be worth thinking about. And they're not just going to pop up, you know. You're going to have to go out and do some things, you know, maybe get a gym membership or you, you know, start taking walks. You know, you might, I do believe that if you put yourself out there a little bit, you know, you'll meet the right people. Um, it just takes time. So give yourself a moment to just enjoy life. And don't stress yourself out over it. Everything will work itself out. Um... Yeah. I'm excited to take a sip of this Sprite. Let's see if I can capture the, the fizz. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it I don't know if it got it, but <clears throat>